What's up travelers, welcome back to another video here on the channel. SJ Aviation HQ bringing you a video for us today. Today we have the model review of the Cargo Lux Boeing 747-8 freighter made by JC Wings. But of course before we go any further into today's video, go ahead and throw a thumbs up below. A great indication of how much you've enjoyed today's content and of course the content on this channel in general. Uh, if you are new, welcome to the channel. SJ Aviation HQ is the channel's name. If you like the content of model plane reviews, airport updates, uh, live streams, uh, unboxings, and of course other great stuff involved in the hobby, and of course flight simulators as well, because I do put out the infinite flight content from time to time. If that sounds like something you're inter interested in, consider subscribing below. It's the freest way to show your, your appreciation to the channel and of course your support. And of course, if you'd like to come along and view the content as soon as it comes out on the channel, go ahead and ding the bell icon below to be notified when we just go live on the channel. As mentioned, the model review of the Cargo Lux Boeing 747-8 freighter into my collection. This, of course, is the first of the Cargo Lux aircraft in my collection. Before I go ahead and showcase the box up close to the camera for you guys, I'm going to read out some information about Cargo Lux as an airline. And there's some information about the specific airframe. So founded on March the 4th, 1970, Cargo Lux is a Lagenburgers flag carrier cargo airline with its headquarters and hub at Luxembourg Airport. With, its global, with a global network, it is among the largest scheduled all cargo operators in the world. Cargo Lux operates a network to 90 destinations, 70 serving all cargo routes, whereas 20 serve as charter destinations. According to Plansplitters.net, Cargo Lux has an aircraft fleet consisting of 29 aircraft, with all 29 being Boeing 747 jumbo jets. Nine of them being 400 freighters, six of them being 400 ER freighters, and 14 of them being 747-8 freighters with an average fleet age of 15.4 years. Cargo Lutz once operated a fleet of 13 Douglas DC-8s between October the 8th, 1973 and June the 1st of 1985, and they also have 10 Boeing 777-8 freighters on order. Cargo Lux was the launch customer of the Boeing 747-8 freighter aircraft. So going into some information about the specific airframe they'll be looking at today. This aircraft has the MSN number of 35810. This aircraft here is a 12 year old Boeing 747-8 freighter and was the 1454th Boeing 747 to roll out for Boeing. Conducting its first flight on May the 5th 2012, this aircraft here was built at Everett Painfield. And, what, and is currently active on the network for Cargo Lux Airlines. Registration of the aircraft to be looking at today is Lima X-Ray Dash Victor Charlie Echo. Once again, a Boeing 747-8 freighter, specifically an 8 Romeo 7 freighter, because uh, Romeo 7 is the Boeing customer code for Boeing built aircraft directly delivered to Luxembourg Airlines, or, or Luxembourgish Airlines. This aircraft is equipped with four General Electric Gen X2 Bravo 67 engines and was ferried between Painfield and Luxembourg on, uh, between May the 24th and 25th of 2012 on its delivery. Uh, that, of course, is Painfield to Luxembourg via Seattle, Tacoma, and, La and Los Angeles in the USA. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and showcase the box. So here at the top of the box, we can see the Cargo Lux uh, Airlines logo there. Let me just zoom in for you guys. And here on the side, we can have, uh, this is also on the aircraft, I just, just don't know how to pronounce it, City of uh, Ectonek. Ectonek, I'm not too sure if I pronounced that right. Here is the 50-year decaling here, and this aircraft is also no, uh, nicknamed the city of Xingzhou. Uh, Xing Xing Here we have the Boeing uh, emblem there. 
and here we have uh, the Boeing logo face there. Here we have the Luxembourg box, a uh, box, uh, stacked box logo there, very cool indeed. Here we have the 2D rendering of the aircraft. Not too sure why. Um, uh, I can see why. Uh, this one here, uh, Victor C. Victor Charlie Julia on the bottom here was the most recent one to be delivered uh, to be uh, released by JC Wings. The one on the top, which you can see, is Victor Charlie Echo, is uh, the one that we're looking at today. The Boeing seven four seven. Uh, typeface there, uh, die cast aircraft model in one to one scale as always. Here we have on the bottom panel we have the Cargo Lux uh, logo face there, with the with the information where it showcases it as a die cast model aircraft, one to one scale, a Boeing seven four seven. The barcodes for both of those two aircraft, these two here. Here we have on the right panel the Cargo Lux Airlines again, the diecast aircraft model uh, typeface there of the for the scale aircraft, and of course the um, I guess that's advertising for Luxembourg as a country, pretty small country if, if I'm if I say so myself. Here we have the Boeing 747-8 typeface on the top there, and of course the 747 at the bottom. And this panel here is identical to the opposite panel. On the back panel we have the Cargo Lux Airlines on, oh, sorry, the Cargo Lux Airlines logo here on the top left corner. Here we have the same uh, dec decaling as the other side as well. Here we have the diagrams of the two aircraft and of course the top view as well. The Boeing logo face is uh, on the front, oh, the, uh, the opposite side of the box as well. The Boeing 747-8 typeface as well. So more details here, but what's different on this side is the, the specs of the 747-8 in general. Uh, the manufacturer overall length, wingspan, height, number of engines and the engine type. And of course the warning information as well and the licensing information for Boeing aircraft as well uh, but yep yeah, overall a pretty nice box JC Wings does some pretty cool box designs um, I, I think they're pretty cool pretty similar to Aviation 400 but I believe Aviation 400 came out with their box design after JC Wings they are relatively similar looking um, so with that out of the way, the reading out of the airline and the reading out of the aircraft and the showcasing of the box, let's go ahead and check out the model. And here is the absolutely stunning Cargo Lux Boeing 747-8 freighter made by JC Wings, looking absolutely gorgeous indeed. Now in this portion of the video, we're going to be showcasing the model up close to the camera, giving you some up close images of the model in all of its glory, while giving you some details about what each of the components do in the event of a flight. So let's go ahead straight into reviewing the model. First and foremost, going to zoom in for you guys. And then getting the model up close to the camera. Now here we have the model up close to the camera for you guys, looking fantastic indeed. It's been a while since I last uh, did a model review of a freighter aircraft, so uh, this is something different for you guys. So here is the front portion of the aircraft in the middle of the shot, you can just see right there. That is the nose cone, and underneath that is a component called the weather radar. Now what the weather radar does in the event of a flight, it is used to detect storms along the flight path and to give the pilots a visual indication of the rainfall intensity ahead of them and the possibility of turbulence as well. This enables the crew to navigate around any potential hazardous areas along the assigned flight plan for the flight. Very nice indeed. Now here we have just here in the middle of the shot is something different we don't see in typical uh, model reviews I've done so far on the channel. And of course, this is the nose uh, cargo door. 
very cool indeed I do like the outline that, that they've done I'm going to be doing the mod review of the Air France cargo bone 777 freighter in uh, upcoming uh, mod reviews so if you want to come along and tune into that go ahead and subscribe and then the bell icon to, to not miss out when that goes live here we have in the t middle of the shot is the copper nose sorry the copper windows um, and then there we have the window wipers just there beneath them looking fantastic indeed now on the top of the fuselage just here we can see the uh, the uh, this is the emergency escape hatch escape hatch for the pilots in the event of an emergency and just here we can see the pedo tube and we can also see the angle of attack sensors now the pedo tube is used to measure fluid flow velocity while the angle of attack sensor otherwise known as the AOA sensor offers a visual indication of the amount of lift the air the wings are generating at a given airspeed or angle of bank very cool indeed now here we have where it says uh, this uh, 50 years of course the, the um the anniversary of, of Cargolux Airlines and of course we just see just to the left of the five there in the number 50 we can see the flag of Luxembourg which we'll see further down the fuselage as well not too sure how to pronounce the city here but I'm going to try uh, city of Echternach it's 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 I'm not too, not too sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but there we have Luxembourg let's make it happen uh, very cool and I'm guessing this is the um the uh, coat of arms of Luxembourg not too sure but here we have the flag of the European Union of course Luxembourg is part of the EU so that's uh, why it's there there is the L1 door of course it is a boarding door as of course um you know <laughs> the people need to get get into the aircraft somehow right um at the bottom of the aircraft we can see the nose de uh, the nose to uh, sorry the nose gear she was and then we have the last three digits of the registration of Victor Charlie Echo and of course the as you just saw the nose gear is a rolling gear so that's pretty cool moving down we can see the large black Cargo Lux billboard title seen on the side of this gorgeous Queen of the Skies aircraft and below the R and the G we can see the pedostatic system now the pedostatic system is used to, to determine an aircraft's airspeed mark number altitude and altitude trend looking at that does look very cool and there is the first antenna seen on the top of the fuselage just there looking fantastic indeed as we go along here in the middle of the shot we can see the the wing lights there they are used to uh you know they are used when the aircraft is in an active airspace and of course you know just before it's part of an airfield and of course landing into an airfield the requirements for the for the uh, landing lights or the uh, wing lights to be on are between zero and ten thousand feet to the pilot's discretion they can then be turned off if they wish to very cool now here we have the iconic uh, engines here these are number one and number two engines I believe these are the Gen X uh, 2 Bravo engines of course the uh, uh, GE powered engines as you can see the GE logo there is on the side of the engine there very cool indeed I will focus on them better but here we have let's have a look at the interior of the engines first there we go, looking fantastic indeed, as per usual with a uh, Gen X engine. Of course, these are different to the ones we can see that we see on the 787s. Of course, they are known as uh, the Gen X One Bravo engine. This, this of course, as mentioned just before, are uh, uh, Gen X Two Bravo engines. Very cool, very cool indeed. I do like the chevrons you can see of course the uh i believe the 747-8 engines um obviously uh designed as, as well to look like the um the 787s and of course now we see the chevrons on these the max series and of course these 777x which i hope get certified in the future because i would love to I, I cannot wait to see that operating and here we have the landing gear, of course the the four 
gears there. The two outer ones on the wings and the two belly gears looking fantastic. We'll have a look at that uh, when we look at the bottom of the aircraft. But here we, here we have the rest of the fuselage. Of course, there's no other cabin windows or anything. Of course, this is a freighter aircraft, but we do have the nice cheat line there. And then we get to this portion of the the aircraft. Of course, this is the cargo door. This is where the uh, the main freight goes on board the aircraft. Of course, we did have the the cargo door at the at the nose of the aircraft. But here we have the uh, the main the you know the 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 fuselage cargo door. And then we have the satcom on the top of the fuselage. Of course, I would not be providing any IFE because because you know there is none. But it would, I mean, of course, I would provide the electronics as well. I'm guessing, of course. Uh, let me know what this does in terms of a cargo aircraft. If you know, if you know the information. But of course, here we have a antenna on the top of, of the fuselage. There, here we have a another one on the bottom of the of the fuselage. This is the only one on the bottom of the fuselage there. And then we have another one just be, just before the leading edge of the tail fin. Here we have where it states that this is a Boeing 747-8 freighter aircraft. And then to the right of that we have the registration. Lima X-Ray dash Victor Charlie Echo. Very nice indeed. Of course it does, because the blue and the, sorry, the red and the blue are, are on the flag of the of Luxembourg. So we did see it just down here. I did I did think it was going to be on the rear of the aircraft, but it's not. So my bad for that. And then we look at the empennage of the aircraft, otherwise known as the vertical stabilizer or the tail fin. Let me just zoom out just a tad. And then focus. Very cool. Here we have the tail fin of Luxembourg. Do note that the color on the uh, sorry, I meant cargo lux. Uh, do note that the colouring on the model we can see in the image at the moment is different to what it looks like to the naked eye. Because I am filming this part of the video um, during a sunset. So that's prob probably why it looks darker than it, than it should. But it is a very, very nice model otherwise, uh, noting that. But here we have the logo on the tail fin, the three boxes there stacked up together. And then, of course, there we have, I'm not too sure what this flag is here, but I think it is the, um, the flag of, it's not, it's not the flag of Luxembourg, but it's not, it's more like a coat of arms flag or something. Not too sure, but let me know in the comments if you know what it is. And then we get to the, the, uh, the, the stabilizers here. Now, I'm pretty, okay, they are here. Those small grey dots at the rear of the stabilizers there. There's two here, and there's two more sitting over here. We can just see them just in the middle of the shot. They are tail lights. They are used to light up the tail fin during night operations. I'm just trying to get it into, into the shot there. There we go. I know, I'll just, there we go. Uh, they are used during night, night operations to give a physical indication to the ATC or anyone who's in the control, control tower. To know who the who the the operator of the aircraft is, of course, in this case it would be Cargo Lux. It can also be used as a marketing tool with it to anyone within or around an airfield. Um, you know, they can of, of course the passengers can't fly on this aircraft, but of course, you know, just to you know to provide good imagery for photographs during night operations. Uh, there are some fantastic night photography on Instagram and of course social media in general. Um, I, I I look forward to spotting at international airports in in the future. Um, I wish I was able to to be as uh, as good, you know, at at you know playing spotting during the night times. But unfortunately, I, I don't know how to uh, to to operate a camera during night operations. But here we have at the on this side of the aircraft, you can see a cargo door at the front of the aircraft. And then at the rear of the aircraft here, we can see the rear cargo compartment just there. Very nice indeed. I uh, did, didn't mention on this side of the wing, 
on this side of the aircraft, my bad. Here we have at the middle of the shot. You see the red navigation light. On this side of the aircraft, it is a green one. Just trying to focus on it for you guys. There we go. Very cool indeed. And of course, I believe the engine numbers, I believe this is number one, number two, number three, and number four. I could be incorrect in saying that, so um, apologies for that. But otherwise, it is a very nice model. Uh, let's have a look at the bottom of the aircraft momentarily. It's a very, very large model um, in terms of the scale. But here we have the the Cargo Lux um, logo here with the 50th anniversary decaling in there. Of course, the G and the O and Cargo are stylized for the 5 and the 0. Looking fantastic indeed. Here we have the nose gear door, because that's where the nose would retract into the nose, go nose gear, my bad. Here we have the Cargo Lux um, belly tunnels here. Very nice. Moving down, we can see the beacon light. And we have the the uh, the gear doors with the stand hole there as well. Very nice. I don't I don't know if I'm correct in saying this, but I'm I believe this is where the Ramio turbine is. Not too sure. Um, but because I'm not I, I like I said at the beginning of this portion of the video, I'm not I'm not used to, um, you know, showcasing cargo uh, cargo aircraft. Well, freighter aircraft, but here we have some nice details of the engines here and the flaps and the slats looking fantastic and the rate wind tip of the 747-8 of course I have done uh, model reviews of the, the the passenger variant, the intercontinental variant of this of this um, aircraft uh, go ahead and check out the Lufthansa one I did in the, few, in the past, top right corner, right about now but here we have the registration, Lima X-Ray Dash Victor Charlie Echo. And then moving down, there's some nice details on the rear of the aircraft. And then right at the pointy end of the rear of the aircraft, we can see the, ex the entryway to the APU. Another um, additional engine on board the aircraft. And there's the exhaust right here. Very, very nice. It is a fantastic model. For anyone who is interested in collecting Cargo Lux or Freighter aircraft, it is definitely a, one of the models that I would def definitely recommend you guys to get. Of course, they did come out with another one um, after, after this one, I believe. I think they came out with uh, Charlie Foxtrot or something like that. I mean, it would make sense because this one is, is Charlie Echo, so they wouldn't ha have to worry about the registration too much. But that is the model review pretty much done for you guys. I do hope you enjoyed what you came along and viewed. If you did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up below. A great indication of how much you enjoyed today's video and, of course, the content on this channel. If you'd like to come along and view more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like to come along and tune in to the videos as soon as it goes live onto the channel, go ahead and turn on the notification bell uh, also next to the subscribe button there. It will be great to see your support on future videos. I have a great array of model reviews coming out very, very soon, including the Emirates A380 and the new livery by Gemini Jets, Singapore Airlines A380 by Phoenix Models, uh, the Garuda Indonesia, 777-300ER by NG Models, and of course the likes of that Air France Cargo 777 Freighter made by NG Models, that was the recent acquisition from the CRP Exchange Malls, uh, I think it was, wasn't the recent one, most recent one, but it was the one before that, and it arrived with the Ethiopian A350-900 and the Lufthansa Cargo 777 Freighter. Uh, I, I believe I did an unboxing of the of those three. Go ahead and check it out. Top right corner, right about now. If I have done so, or, um, yes, to go ahead and check that out if you wish to. If you'd like to come along and view my social media channels and come along and support me on there, 
go ahead and scan the QR code you can see on the screen now which will be leading you straight to my airport's Instagram page as International Airport's Instagram page of course that of course is where you can come along and view details about the new services starting the ending services of course the new, uh, the model photos as well and of course the information about new releases by Gemini Jets the other, and of course other model brands um, coming up very soon and of course if you'd like to come along and tune into all of my other social media channels go ahead and scan the QR code you can see on the screen now it'll be leading you straight to my link tree page and of course that of course is where all of my links are in one full place, one whole platform. We're going to see your support on those channels if you wish to come along and tune into them. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for you guys. The model review of the Cargo Lux 747-8 freighter made by JC Wings. Uh, again, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and of course, ding the bell icon to be notified if videos go live on the channel straight away. Uh, on the end screen soon enough would be some options for you guys on the left hand side would be the most recent video on this channel on the right hand side would be the full playlist of moderate reviews I've done so far on this channel in the middle we will be where you can subscribe but until next time guys fly safe stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one